there was no class 14 okay. 14 yeah okay so let me ask you some basic question before i start the next uh, setup discussing the next setup guys uh, <clears throat> do you know what is revaluation anybody can uh, answer the concept of revaluation the revaluation is nothing but uh, in case uh, an asset is purchased on uh, long ago so the market value of asset is uh, higher present now but uh, in the books it will reflect only cost value so in the, through revaluation we can upgrade the value of an asset there is the process is called revaluation according to fixed asset uh, no not all class of assets not uh, i am telling you about uh, fixed asset revaluation <coughs> revaluation in general like gl revaluation i think so the transactions which are posted in other currency right we are uh, revaluing it to the uh, base currency yeah main motto is uh, we need to uh, a uh, see the unrealized gain and unrealized loss right how we we'll get that uh, gain and loss what the reason uh, suppose uh, we are posting uh, foreign currency journals uh, i mean the currency journal i mean sorry mm. uh, functional uh, functional journal functional currency journals when we convert into the foreign cur- currency journal right that time uh, the uh, i mean market standard rates will mm. change based on the amount then give me a clear <coughs> clear uh, picture guys it's still confusing for example you have purchased something in past journal in foreign currency right uh usd right at that time the exchange rate is 79 Okay, 31st of January, you you realize the same same transactions you have purchased, and uh, at that time the exchange rate is 79. Exchange rate 79. 31st of January, it can be either 80 or 80 or 70 and the kya hota hai ye or 79 or 80 78 so based on that uh, <coughs> currency like foreign currency rate or exchange rate variation will capture the gain and loss so that's a normal practice like uh, across big organizations where uh, the operating in different countries with different currencies and they have a uh, lot of foreign currency transactions and they want to capture that on realized gain or loss so it's why it is on realized because we are not going to realize already we have purchased at agreed price 79 okay but it's a period and activity you want to know the organization want to know currently the market price is 80 so if you would have purchased in 80 then it would be loss for us right so it's a unrealized loss because here you have to pay more if it is 78 again it's less based on that exchange rate variance you are just capturing that loss or gain so that is revaluation so how will uh, set up the revaluation assign legal entity i think we have completed till uh, this one right chat up account right business unit set assignment we have completed these are all common setup like your uh, uh, common value set 
set up account value sheet, set up account structures, so that you know actually. So I'm not discussing this. Deploy flexi field, manage COA value sheet. So publish accounting hierarchy. So this is when you are creating your accounting tree. So there are three, four steps. First, you have to do the online audit and uh, <clears throat> then deploy your, sorry, publish your accounting hierarchy. Why need to publish? Because this accounting hierarchy is linked to Hyperion and reporting tool. So in case you create any new chart of account or uh, update anything in the chart of account, value shade, values. So this accounting tree, every time you have to publish so that uh, the updated information will trigger to the Hyperion reporting tool. Okay, so that's why we need to publish. Then manage cross validation rule. So cross validation rule. What is cross validation rules? And why it is required? Already I discussed, but anybody can answer. Yeah, anybody. I, I am expecting answer for anyone. Uh, mainly we use the uh, correct accounting combinations. Correct accounting combination. So based on the company's requirement, uh, like uh, for example, we have multiple cost centers, we have multiple uh, geography, multiple departments, accounts. So we have balance sheet account, we have PL accounts. And uh, to get the com like uh, valid combination, correct accounting combinations based on the business requirement, we have to define some rules, cross validation rules that this department is not belongs to this company. This cost center is not belongs to this company. And in balance sheet account, we don't need cost centers. A profit on account from this range of account, we need this cost center. So lot of rules can be defined based on the business expectations. So that's why we need to create cross validation rule. So these setups are very important. These are um, almost in every company, you will uh, get this requirement. Manage, there is an interview question here, like publish accounting hierarchy. So the question is like, uh, I'm not able to um, get my updated accounting uh, code combination, sorry, account and newly created cost centers and values, etc. in the tree. So what is the issue in the Hyperion? I'm not able to see in the reporting. So what is the issue? The answer will be like it's not audited and not published because this accounting hierarchy till it is published you cannot see even allocation rules you are creating uh, if it is not published in draft stage you will not able to see uh, to select this accounting hierarchy in the allocation rules cross validation rules so question here like interview question will come here like uh, uh, how you define your cross validation rules and what are your requirements? Okay, I give one scenario like how you define. So this cross validation rules you can define either individual using the individual segment values or you can create your <coughs> accounting hierarchy for this. Okay, because for liability, intercompany, for assets, you can create different, different account hierarchy. And uh, you can use this uh, tree in the cross validation rules. There is option either if you use the single individual values, then you have to create 100 lines. Okay, if there are 100 values, you have to create 100 
conditions using that uh, accounting values. But if you create one single hierarchy with these values or tree, just use that tree. That this tree is based on intercompany. For this intercompany account, this is the rule. Okay, because uh, there are a lot of balancing segments and company decide this particular balancing segment values are intercompany accounts. Like we used to uh, create intercompany transactions for this balancing segment. So what you can do, capture this uh, balancing segments or company code and create an intercompany tree separately and publish it. And when, when you are creating the uh, cross validation rule, you can use that uh, accounting tree in the condition. Okay. 